Hey everybody, another episode of Create with Brenda. I'm Brenda Hillard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I'm from Deerwood, Minnesota, and I am so happy to be here with you. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. If you have joined me before, um, welcome back. I love, love, love my subscribers. I try to bring fresh, interesting projects. I also like to kind of mix it up. I like to have quick and simple, and then sometimes it's really fun to make something that's a little bit over the top. I try to keep all of my recordings right around that 15, 12 to 15 minute mark. Sometimes I'm a little over, sometimes I'm under, but I try very hard to respect your viewing time. So I hope you enjoy this, this um, episode and let's turn it down to my workspace. All right, so you know that I start each of my um, episodes with my monthly host code. Here we are in October, nearing the end of October, and um, my host code is here. My gift to you this month for using my host code is a, if your product order is a minimum of $100, that's before shipping and taxes, you will receive a $25 shopping spree on me. Now, let me add one little detail to this. If your order is over $150, please do not use my host code. You will be eligible for your own stamp and rewards Plus, you will get your $25 shopping spree from me. So please keep track of that. I um, do not want the host code on there if your order is over $150. So if you have any questions when you're placing your order, you know that you can contact me either at createwithbrenda.com or you can message me, email me, at um, Brenda, B-R-E-N-D-A-S-U-E-Y at yahoo.com. I'm always happy to help. So if you have any questions, just reach out and we'll get those clarified for you. The other thing, the other tidbit of news is the designer series paper sale is going on now through October 31st as well. This is a time to stock up and save there are 15 gorgeous designer series paper packs that are on sale for 15% off. Our usual designer series papers, um, the average retail on those is $11.50. They are on sale now for just $9.78. So I hope you'll check that out. Um, like I said, there's 15 different papers included in the sale and with it being the holidays and the the time to do, make our packaging and our um, Christmas cards and table favors now's the time to stock up so I hope you'll take advantage of that and cash in on my house code for this month all right you guys here's the project this card um let me take it out of the jacket. Um, this card is was truly inspired by Donna G. She's a um, UK, I believe UK demonstrator. Australia. Maybe Australia. Anyway, um, I was totally inspired by her card. I did change it up just a little bit, but not much. So, here's the inside. This stamp set, this suite, is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said earlier in my introduction, I do live in Deerwood, Minnesota, so we are um, blessed with lots of pine trees. This stamp set, this suite, in the pines is gorgeous. It comes with the stamp set, and I love that it has the thinking of you as well as season's greetings, so it's not just um, the sentiments are not just for the holidays. It comes with a set of um, pine woods dies, which look like this. 
So you get some landscaping pieces and then all of these beautiful pine trees. So you can emboss, you can lift, and then you can just do the, the cutout, whatever you choose. And then that's not it for this suite. There is also the embossing folder. And I don't know if you've seen this Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder in action, but when you use this on foil paper, it is like seriously to die for. It is all it needs is a ribbon, some embossed foil, and done. You can put your sentiment on the inside. Gorgeous. All right. So there's the products from that, that little bundle, that little suite. The um, paper that you'll need for this is, and I used very vanilla. So I have a very vanilla envelope. I have one of the gold hoop embellishments. I, I have to laugh because I didn't think I'd like these when I first saw them in the in the catalog, in the annual catalog. And I have, I've used all of mine and more, or, you know, more than one pack. So they're kind of a, kind of a fun little element. You'll need a piece of very vanilla that measures um, three and three quarter by five. You'll need a piece of soft suede that measures three and three quarter by five. And then you'll need just a scrap piece of pear pizzazz to um, stamp and die cut this little pine piece, or pines. All right, so five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're gonna match up our edges. Bring in our bone folder and give it that really nice crisp crease. So there's that. Next, we're going to bring in our piece of um, soft suede and using the thinking of you from the In the Pines stamp set, I'm going to stamp with soft suede so it's going to be a tone on tone. And is what I'm going to do, let me get my, I have my stamping pad in here because we're using the photopolymer. It just works a little bit to have that cushion underneath. And you'll want a piece of scrap paper also. So I'm going to tap, tap, tap to ink it up well. Then I'm just going to press down one, two, three, four, and five. Good. And I'm going to give it another little partial stamp over here. Where is what we're doing is just stamping our um, our background with the words, and it can be really random. It does not have to be even. It doesn't have to be. I mean, you can try to keep it as straight as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. see how hard I was thinking about where to place the stamp that time. It's kind of getting, getting on to being my, my bedtime. All right, so there's our background. And then this part is super simple. So I'm going to bring in our gold hoop embellishment. Okay, I'm just going to set that there. I need a couple, um, huh, I thought I had them right here. I need a couple mini glue dots, just give me one second. Here they are. All right. I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool. This thing is my brand. It works so well for um, C 
sequins, for backings on the dimensionals, for just for lots of detailed work. So there's that. And I'm going to take one more of the mini glue dots. And as what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that right down here. And you can see on our original card how I have this um, copper, the copper ribbon, shimmer ribbon. I just kind of went across and back with that. So is what I did is I just laid this here, brought it across and laid it on our glue dot, made my little loop and then just brought it back and laid it across the glue dot there, All right? I can bring in my snips, give this a little angle. I think I need a new pair of snips for, I'm gonna bring in my big ribbon scissor. It works so much nicer and gives a really good cut. There. So now we've got our, what I'll call our swoosh of ribbon. Then I told you that I had taken the Pear Pizzazz ink with the trio, I guess there's actually four pines there, so I shouldn't say trio. And I'm going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of the pines. Take the wax paper backing off from them. And then I just simply laid those right across, right across the ribbon. All right. Then it was like, hmm, needs just a little something, something more. And I, I wasn't sure what that something, something was until I pulled out these champagne rhinestones that are my favorite word with all my Stampin' Up! products. Gorgeous. And again, I'm going to take my, take your pick tool, pick up one of the jewels, and I'm just going to randomly place three of the jewels on the card because it's just the right amount of sparkle. Do you love it? I really do. It's, um, again, a very quick, a very easy card, but yet it has a lot of wow factor. So I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Did you guys notice my fun nails? My friend Debbie sells color streets and I just thought those were so fun. By education, I'm a um, x-ray tech and this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and it's got the pretty little pink flowers so I thought that was that was appropriate. And being I am a, mam a mammographer, I want to remind everybody to get your mammograms probably one of the best things we can do for ourselves and stay healthy. All right, so that piece of very vanilla that measures three and three quarter by five is for the inside of our card. Again, I took the Pear Pizzazz ink and just stamped the, the pines at the bottom corner. And when I attach my inserts to the inside of the card, I like to just put my stamp and seal up at the top edge because you know like when you buy from like American Greeting or Hallmark, the fancy, the fancy cards, they always have that insert that lifts. So there's that. So there's the inside of our card. I'm not going to put the sentiment in because I don't know. If my thinking of you is just going to be my thinking of you, this could be a beautiful sympathy card too. So I'm just going to leave that blank. However, if you know me, 
and you've watched my videos before, guess what? No naked envelopes. So down on the bottom right corner, I have the, I have the pine stamped again. And there's our project for tonight. Please subscribe down below. I would love to have you join me. Um, by subscribing, you will also get notifications of my upcoming episodes. If you have any comments or love comments, put those on. And I will put the details and measurements for products and, and um, the measurements for the card in the details below. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.